Hey Print Hustlers, Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management Software. Today I want to talk to you about working with your customers and how to help your customer service reps and account managers do a lot better with making them feel more secure and more comfortable with your company. This is around confidence and it's around expertise. Those are the two big things that research shows will help you build more of a connection with your customers. So obviously everybody wants their customers to be happy and that really requires the right wording and right relationship that you create with those customers and interactions to make a lot better whether that's email or live chat or phone or in person it all matters now this is stuff too that I would take and make sure I put in the new hire training and even retraining for existing uh, folks that work at your shop too because it's gonna be really really helpful the first step here is to always establish some sort of personal report. Now, what that means is that you want to be able to establish a connection between two people. You want to be able to uh, create some sort of commonality. And so this means that you need to be either up on news or the latest sports or what's going on in the world. And what happens is, is you'll keep digging with that person until you find that commonality and then boom, you've hit a, a kind of baseline rapport level. And that could be asking how the weather's going, oh, if you have any kids, if they're playing any sports, and you keep digging until you really hit that, that different topic. The second big thing is really showing that you're truly listening about their problem, and you can do that by just asking them really good questions. So how can I help? You know, And then someone would probably say, well, I'm looking for 25 shirts for this club. Oh, very cool. What, what club is it? A, what are you guys printing it for? Remember, Every shirt has a story behind the design. So get to that story. Oh, well, it's for a fundraiser we're doing. Oh, well, very cool. We actually have a platform to help you raise money, right? So you can see how you become more of a solution solver and not just a one-stop shop for turning around shirts to them. This is also your first opportunity to take charge and be a confident person and use assertive language to go back. Now the way to do this is using dominant words. And this could be, these are really around focusing around action, confirmation, next steps. So getting them going as if you are the expert. Remember, you're not just somebody running a print shop, you are an expert in creating and mastering a way for people to express themselves through clothing or through anything print related. So your customers will also start finding that as really helpful when you use that very specific wording and language to help guide them. Generally speaking, as much as you want to give more options for people to do, they generally do better and it's easy on you if you have less options. So this is where you tell them and make suggestions. Don't be afraid to endorse different products too. So if you feel that, okay, hey, you want the softer shirt? Well, I think, you know, the All Made 200 is, is the softest shirt on the market. Here you go, test it out. Or I think the Bella is the softest t-shirt that's gonna fit for what you guys are looking for. Here, feel this and check it out. And that's gonna show your personal preference and, and that's also gonna show um, and create a, a, that further trust and rapport and bond between you guys. Now, when you're talking to them also, use specific wording so instead of saying t-shirt you know say uh, the very specific white tri-blend shirt getting deeper on those will really help uh, instead of hat you know maybe five panel uh, flat bill hat something like that but getting really specific there again shows your expertise in that area and shows you as the industry knowledge expert that's what you want to do those are really the, the big tips there. And what I would, would highly recommend is write all those different things down, retrain your existing team, and put it into a handbook of sorts for new people coming in that are working with customers on a regular basis. You can even print it out, put it on the wall. Again, it's super, super helpful. Something that we practice and something that you guys can do too.